when my friends are on the Wi-Fi balance system. I have a challenge for you guys. If you guys can name the songs used in this video in the comments below, I will give you a Pokemon Pokerus or any Pokemon of your choice. So right now we start off Guard Chomp versus Guard Chomp. I'm scared of the Scarf Chomp, so I switch out to my Tangrowth. He is a bulky ass Pokemon, so my Tangrowth takes it really well. He switches out his Guard Chomp because I know it is Scarf. And then he sends out his Talon Flame. I go for the knockoff, trying to knock off his Choice Scarf, but it knocks off the Choice Band, so the Talon Flame can go for the uh, the uh, Will Wisp. So that was kind of a bad move on me. I do go for the Rock Slide, but since I am burned, it does not kill the Talon Flame, unfortunately. He goes for the Flare Blitz, but I somehow live at 1 HP. But it really doesn't matter because the Talon Flame kills itself with recoil damage and the burn takes me out after leaving me with only one HP left. Very, very unfortunate for me. But anyways, he sends out his Needle King. I go out I go out with my Porygon too because it is so damn bulky. He goes for the ice beam. It does almost a quarter, not even. So I go for the side shock. It does decent damage. It's a 2 hit KO. So that's very good. He goes for Ice Beam again. This time it does a bit more damage. I'm down to less than half HP. But it's okay because I take out the Neo King with another Ice Beam. So, he says I use Bread Loom. Right now, I am seriously fearing the Mop Punch or the Spore. So I do switch out into my uh, Aegis Slash just in case if he did decide to go for Mop Punch. But unfortunately, he decided to go for Spore. So my. Uh, Aegis Slash is going to be asleep. He does switch out back into his Garchomp. So right now, I am afraid of the Earthquake or Crunch. So I'm not sure what to do. He goes for the Dragon Claw over predicting. He probably thought that I would switch out to a different Pokemon, but I stayed in. So he has to switch out because he cannot do anything. He has Choice Scarf, so he cannot Dragon Claw me. Anyways, he switches out into his Greninja, and my uh, Aegis Slash does wake up gets the King Shield off, and I uh, scout it. He goes for the Skull. Now, I'm not sure why. He probably overpredicted. But anyways, he goes for another Skull on me, and he burns me. That is very unfortunate for me, because I will lose half of my attack stat. I go for the Iron Head, and it does nothing. It does... It was a critical hit at that. It did a, about a quarter health to um, the Greninja. So I just decided to go for the, the Shadow Sneak. Just to do some more damage to it, and then the uh, Greninja takes me out with another skull. The Greninja is down to half HP, but I send out my Scarf Chomp, and I obviously have speed it with Scarf Chomp, and I use Dragon Claw to get a critical hit, and kill the Greninja. Now he sends out his Breloom right here. I don't have any other moves to take care of this Breloom. I would have switched out into a different Pokemon to reset my Scarf Chomp, and I would have used Fire Fang, but I decide to stay in. Unfortunately, he goes for the Spore, so my Garchomp is now asleep. I have to go into another Pokemon, but he Spores me again. So now my Talonflame is also Spored. I have two Pokemon that are fast asleep on my team, so this is a very bad situation for me. I send out my Porygon too, no, like thinking that he would probably not Spore once more. So my Porygon too is out. He goes for a Dragon Claw, but it barely does anything at all. I go for the Recover, and my Porygon takes it very well. His HP is almost back to normal, and he goes for another Dragon Claw, while I go for the Ice Beam. I really should have went for the Recover, but it really didn't matter. The Ice Beam is times 4 effective, so the Grin uh, the Garchomp definitely gets taken down. He sends out his Breloom. I switch back my Porygon too, because I was fearing the Spore again. So anyways... He sets up the sword stance when I switch out. Very good play on his part. He pro played me right there. So anyways, uh, he goes for the bullet seat on my uh, guard chomp and hits a 3 hit KO. That is very good on the Breloon's part. Uh, he did a very good job predicting my play. So I send out my Porygon yet again, and then I switch it out, because I try to play some mind games. He might have spored me, so he, I go back into my talent form, and then he, uh, he's spored again. Anyways, he goes for the Bullet Seed now. Now my talent form takes it really well, it's one-fourth of the damage, so after, uh, what was that, three hits, it did less than half of my HP, so that was very good. He does have the Quick Claw, but I chose to do Brave Bird, but I'm still fast asleep. He goes for the bullets yet again. I believe this time it only hits twice, leaving me with 
about a quarter of my HP left. He withdraws his uh, Breloom and then sends out his Rotom Wash. I totally forgot he had a Rotom Wash. So he totally knew that I was going to wake up this turn and Brave Bird him. That does nothing to him. And my uh, Talon Flame is back at 14 HP. One more hit and I die. So right here, I switch out my Talon Flame into my Porygon 2 because I know that uh, my Porygon 2 can take most of the things the Rotom can dish out. So he goes for the Thunderbolt and I take it fairly well. He does have leftovers recovery. So right here, he goes for the Will-O-Wisp afterwards to try and burn me to do that residual damage. But I do recover most of my HP back. I'm back at 75% um, of my health. So that should be very good, but the burn really does cripple me throughout this whole match. If the burn wasn't there, I would take him this match very easily. He goes for the Hydro Pump and misses. I go for the Charge Beam, and my special attack boosts up by one stage. So I'm at plus one special attack, looking very good, but he is slowly recovering all his leftovers health, and I am slowly losing all my health from the burn. He goes for the Hydro Pump. It does a decent amount, a decent chunk, but I feel for the recover once more. I am back at 75% HP. He goes, he uh, still has leftovers. His HP almost is at full while mine is slowly draining away. He goes for another Hydro Pump and this time it takes me down to less than half HP. But I recover twice just so I can have my Porygon at the most HP it can before I start attacking yet again. So it's, uh, the Charge Beam effect got cancelled out because he, his leftovers are slowly covered all the way back. He goes for the Thunderbolt. It does a decent chunk. I go for the Psy Shock looking at the damage. It did a decent chunk, but it does physical damage. Now his Rotom is a physical the defensive Rotom, so I think Charge Beam would have been the better play. Anyways, he goes for the Thunderbolt, and my Porygon is at 53 HP. I go for the Recover once more. I'm back at 75% health, but yet again, he does have the leftovers, and I am still getting burned, so that is very unfortunate for me. Anyways, he goes for the Thunderbolt yet again, and my Porygon goes to less than half HP, so I decided to recover this turn yet again, just to ensure that my Porygon could stay alive throughout the whole game. His leftover still recovers him, and my Porygon still gets burned. He goes for the Thunderbolt, and it still does a decent chunk. I go for the second Charge Beam, and this time it does a very decent chunk. My Porygon is at plus two special attack right now, so it is looking very good for me right now. My Porygon is, however, at less than half HP. He does go for the Thunderbolt, and I go for the Psy Shock, thinking that I can actually destroy the Rotom, but unfortunately, I did not get the KO. So right now, it looks very bad. I am at red HP, and he goes for the Hydro Pump, but he misses it. So I go for the Recover. That was very unfortunate for you. I'm very sorry, but you shouldn't have went for the Hydro Pump. Anyways, my Porygon is at more than half HP. He goes for the Thunderbolt yet again. He really should have went for that last turn. But my Porygon uses Psy Shock and it takes out the Breloom. Or no, not the Breloom. Takes out the Rotom. So my Porygon is back at red HP, but I'm at this point I'm just gonna sacrifice the Porygon. So he goes for the Mop Punch. I'm thinking that I can go into the Talon Flame and just Brave Bird priority and win the game. And guess what? Guess what? Right here, the Quick Claw kicks in, and he goes for the Mop Punch and takes out my Talon Flame. Right here, I am in a very tough position. I set up my Greninja. And he goes for yet another mock punch, but I have the Focus Sash. He probably didn't even know I had the Focus Sash. But anyways, I use Extra Sensory, living at 1 HP. This game's difference was 1 HP from a win to a loss. He had 0 HP, I had 1 HP left. Anyways, I take out his Breloom, and that's the game. Thank you guys for watching, this has been the Cross of Games, and I am out. Peace!